Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let me begin by sending my condolences to the family and friends of Najma Abdullahi Ma'alim uh, on behalf of the leadership and the people of Garissa County. Uh, we really woke up to a tragic news and uh, it is really, really a remorseful day. Uh, Najma was raised, uh, was born and raised in uh, Garissa County, uh, specifically Dadaab constituency. Um, I mean, we live in a very challenging times where murder is the order of the day. Uh, I want to call upon the Director of Criminal Investigation to speed up the investigation so that we ascertain uh, those people who have committed this crime and so, so that they can face uh, you know, criminal penalty uh, by conducting that heinous act. Kwa majina naitwa Francis Auma. Tulipata distress call kutoka kwa familia wameangaika tangu tarehe 9 kuchafuta huyu binti Najma. Na kiakika tumeona vile ilivyo na tuna suspect kuna foul play. Tumemwangalia, tumeexam sisi kama muhuri tuko na wakili, tuko na familia, tuko na Kiafrika. Tumekuwa mochari tangu asubuhi saa 12 mtoto wa kike kuna probability alikuwa tortured manake unaona body imepondwa pondo ukiangalia sura damu imetoka mwingi na tunataka serikali ifanye haraka iwezekanavyo tujue ni nani aliyefanya kisanga hichi mtoto mdogo amemaliza school juzi juzi hii ni jambo la kuzunisha. anaweza kupoteza maisha kwa njia ya kiolela tuliyoiona mwili unaonesha ya kwamba msichana mwenyewe ame hapo na max katika sehemu ya kichwa amepigwa ame na pia kuna alama zingine katika mwili. What we are here to do is to conduct a postmortem to verify and to actually uh, give an accurate decision on the cause of death ya msichana huyu Najma. Kwa majina naitwa Abdi Daib. Mimi ni mwishi wa Changamwe. <coughs> ni masikitiko makubwa kupoteza mtoto mdogo ambayo ni promising kwa family yake na katika shule ameweza kufanya vizuri amekuja kuungana na familia hapo Mombasa lakini kwa bahati mbaya ameingia kwa mikono ya uhalifu na ameweza kuuawa vibaya ile ambayo sisi tungependa kuomba serikali ni kwamba mambo kama haya ya kuteka nyara watu ambao wanafuliza watu na madawa na kufanya wao unconscious na kuwabeba kwenda kufanyia madhila na kuwaua ni mambo ambayo sahihi imezidi Najma si wa kwanza wala hata kuwa wa mwisho hii ni mambo ambayo inaendelea na serikali yetu kuu badala ya kuhusika njia ya ku save maisha ya mkenya wameweka mambo ya BBI umuhimu zaidi kuliko maisha ya wananchi. Na hiyo ni aibu. Kila siku tukiwa tunapoteza maisha ya vijana wetu kwa mambo kama haya ni masikitiko na ni maneno ambayo ni aibu kwa serikali ambayo jukumu yake kubwa ni kulinda maisha ya wananchi wake. Ile mimi ningependa kusema. TCI na wale ambayo wanahusika wafanye investigation kwa haraka iwezekanavyo tuweze kujua yaliyojiri ili tusiweze kupoteza maisha ya mwingine katika hali kama hii ni masikitiko na ningependa kutuma rambi rambi zangu kwa familia na waambia pole Mwenyezi Mungu atawabadilishia na mzuri kuliko Najma my name is Mr Diambo Diambo Derek Currently, I'm the advocate, I'm the lawyer representing the family. I'm, be, I'm here on behalf of the victims. In short, the brief that I'm having is about this lady called Najma. This lady is hailing from a place called Kulan in Garsen. This lady was reported to be missing. The last time that she was seen was on Tuesday. That was on 8th of June. Now, nevertheless, the lady was found by purported good Samaritans when she was injured and disposed or thrown beside the road along the SGR highway. Now, the body was taken to Potriz Hospital when the lady was okay. 
but today, Saturday morning at 10 a.m., the lady was reported to have died. We don't know the condition that led to her death. Why? Because if you can observe the body carefully, you will find that she's oozing blood. There are evidence of torture, there are cuts on her body, and the, you can see that even her head was hit with a blunt object. The family now wants to conduct a post-mortem investigation, post-mortem, together with the doctor and the family, so that we can ascertain the real cause of the death. We are here with the police, the family and all the organizations. We have Muhuri and Haki Africa, who are also helping the family to watch the brief. What we are urging the family and members of the public is, for now, hold on uh, speculations, Let's avoid making emotional comments until the post-mortem procedure is over. Then we'll converge all of us here and we are going to give you a proper brief on actually what has happened. Let us have the empirical, form, empirical evidence from the doctor and we are going to update you. But what we are assuring you is that justice must be served.